Welcome to Fox TV News, where everything is true. More than 20 St. Anne students refer to NCDA for intervention since September. More than 20 students in St. Anne have been referred to the National Council on Drug Abuse, NCDA, for drug misuse intervention since the start of the school year in September. This was revealed by Substance Abuse Officer for St. Anne, Nardia Henry. She has expressed concern about the increase which he says is abnormal. Ms. Henry noted that the students reported the abusing substances, such as Molly. She said, with November being observed as Drug Awareness Month, several activities are planned to discourage drug use among youths. Drug Awareness Month 2022 is being observed under the theme, Drug Free Lifestyle Trending. There has been an increase since the COVID-19 pandemic. What we're seeing are number of students, um, at least certainly for me, and since this um, new school year, I have had more than 20, which is, um, which is not normal, more than 20 being referred from schools across the parish for drug misuse. Um, what we're seeing is the new psychoactive substances, so the new emerging substances like the molly and the vaping and the edibles. Those are the things that we're seeing currently. Um, so there has been a slight increase in terms of empirical data in terms of to say what percentage. I can't speak to that, but certainly from my experience, I can say that there has been some increase in what we are seeing, particularly for our adolescents coming into us. So we are embarking on a school tour. I cannot give you dates and names of schools right now where we are going to be, but I know that we will be in a few schools across the island. Um, so we'll go in for the day and we will engage the students. For St. Anne, we're going to be doing a youth jam session at the Ferncourt High School on the 16th. We will be focusing on what are the issues, the student behavior and conduct, of course, to include substance misuse. We'll have a panel discussion that will include principals, guidance counselors, dean of disciplines, just to um, be able to come up with strategies to mitigate against what we are seeing as it relates to substance misuse and student conduct. Police Commissioner Major General Anthony Anderson made his contribution during their Monte press briefing. So at this time, though, I'd like to turn attention to another matter that is particularly close to home. Recently, we lost one of our members who was killed by a gunman while on an operation. I have often made the point that when confronted by armed criminals, it is my desire for the police to win every single time and go home to their families. Unfortunately for us, Corporal Oliver Mullings wasn't able to go home to his family that night. And in the case of his family, the wounds of grief are still fresh. It was only in October of 2020 that the mother of his teen daughter, a sergeant stationed in St. Catherine South, left out for duty and perished in a traffic accident. Just this morning, a, um, just this morning, a, a member uh, of a traffic police officer in downtown um, Kingston, who was attached to Central Police Station, uh, was uh, shot at. As a matter of fact, he was shot. He was engaged by two uh, persons on a motorcycle. Thankfully, he managed to take evasive action, return fire, and has been treated at hospital. There are many who have a lot to say about police use of force. The problem is that none of these people are out there on the front lines being shot at. It is far easier to opine about these things from positions of safety. I'm reminding my men and women that they need to be aware of their surroundings on and off duty. Members are also being reminded that they have the full backing of the police high command in the lawful use of force as is necessary to defend themselves, their colleagues, and citizens against any attack. Bustamante, Spanish Town Hospitals overwhelmed by a spike in respiratory illnesses among children. A sharp increase in severe acute respiratory illnesses, SARI, has led to several overcrowding at the Bustamante Hospital for Children, as well as the Spanish Town Hospital. The Minister of Health and Wellness, Dr. Christopher Tofton, said the increase is significant in more than the numbers that were seen at the height of COVID-19 in 2021 
when the highest admission at the similar time of year was 9 children per week. This year, the current admission is 44% above what we saw during COVID-19 in 2021. Our current report from the Boston Mental Hospital for Children is that medicine wards are above capacity at 111%. Additionally, there are at least an average of six patients in the accident and emergency department who are awaiting admission nightly. This has worsened over current staffing challenges and has significantly impacted the work environment within the facility, Tufton shared in the House of Representatives on Tuesday. He said the Spanish Town Hospital was also seeing a significant increase in admissions and overcrowding. Over the weekend, the pediatric numbers indicated that there were 35 admissions, with another 15 children awaiting admission in accident and emergency. The occupancy of the pediatric wards have been persistently at greater than 100%. Admissions of the general pediatric ward increased by 53%, with 98 patients in August and 150 in September. Over the last four weeks, there have been a significant increase in the daily pediatric respiratory asthmatic cases at the hospital, the minister said. He told the House that the epidemiological surveillance system has indicated that Jamaica is in the influenza season. This, he said, is evidenced by the fact that SARI has passed the seasonal threshold. Prior to the COVID-19 pandemic, we saw between 19 and 21 SARI admission each week at the 6 SARI Sentinel sites across all health regions, Tufton pointed out. These sites are Conway Regional Hospital, Mandeville Regional Hospital, St. Ansby Regional Hospital, Kingston Public Hospital, University Hospital of the West Indies, and the Boston Mental Hospital for Children. He said that in the four weeks from September 25th to October 22nd, the number of SARI admissions increased from 4 to 19, which represents a more than 400% increase in the reported admissions at the Sentinel sites. The minister highlighted that increased SARI admissions are mainly among children in particular, children younger than six months old and those two to four years old. Over the last two weeks, admissions were significantly greater than usually observed. The Boston Mental Hospital for Children is now seeing 13 cases of SARI weekly, up from four. Tufton said the Ministry of Health and Wellness has taken note of the international trend in respiratory illnesses, especially among children. He pointed to the substantial increase in cases in the United States and Canada, including the respiratory sinital virus, RSV. RSV is a common respiratory virus that usually causes mild flu-like symptoms and most people recover within a week. However, it may cause severe illness, especially in young children and the elderly, may be affected by inflammation of the airway in the lung and infection to the lung. It may also worsen chronic lung disease, such as asthma, Tufton noted. He said that from observing what is happening in the United States and Canada, the Health and Wellness Ministry has begun to work to assess whether or not our current trend have any correlation to the international experience. To the end, the National Public Health Laboratory has begun to prepare samples to be sent to the Caribbean Public Health Agency for PCR testing for the presence of RSV within the population. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, and click the notification.